proceed with your account. Don't forget to be as precise and detailed as possible. Your testimony, as you already know, will be of utmost relevance in resolving this case. Well, yes. I can start with the discovery of the cabin in the town of Randolph, right? As you wish. Feel free to tell it in your own way. So I'll start there. We, along with company, were working with the police on analyzing a substance that had appeared in the drain pipes of the houses. Initially, we suspected that some trafficking network was hiding in one of these small towns in New Hampshire. Moreover, the proximity to Canada made it a perfect place to transport substances to more than one country. However, when they took us to perform the corresponding analyses, Officer called me and a smaller group of our chemical forensic team to see something. He was quite emphatic in pointing out that this something would be of great interest, but also had to be kept in utmost secrecy and privacy. That was when they took us about a mile, or perhaps less, west of Randolph. We went through a not-so-dense forest until we reached a clearing. There, Officer pointed to an abandoned wooden cabin. After telling us a bit about its discovery, I won't go into details because I know that's part of your investigation. After telling us, he led us to the back of the cabin, where other police officers and an FBI agent removed a small wooden door from the wall. When I saw it, I didn't know what to think, really. I mean, you could see it in the photographs. It was a washing machine, quite large, with its rounded, semi-transparent door. Uh, you know, like any washing machine. However, that wasn't even what they were really going to show me. Before my team or I said anything, Agent opened that door, and we saw a huge tunnel that stretched for... I don't know. It was enormous, too long to be true. At that moment, we were explained what had been discovered. Also, that it smelled like something that possibly some chemist could define, as it had never been smelled before. Nor was it in an investigative record. That's how they prepared us, with special equipment and suits for chemical risk areas. I was highly intrigued that a person could easily fit into the tunnel. And I'm sure there were a few steps or handles to hold on to during the descent. Once down there, we reached a kind of cave, naturally very dark, since we were wearing masks. I couldn't perceive the smell anymore, but it was possibly much more intense. It didn't take us too long until we found a door that led us to a huge room, like an underground warehouse full of metal cylinders, like those for liquefied gas, although more similar to oxygen tanks. It was at that moment that we encountered the unpleasant surprise of finding creatures. I don't even know how to describe them. You'll know that I don't deal with things like this. I work in a pharmaceutical laboratory and only see data on computers. Um, how to put it? They were creatures, similar to a very old man. Very thin, with gray skin. Completely gray. I suppose they were cryogenized, frozen in these tanks for some reason unknown to me. Why they had those creatures there, that is an extremely interesting question, because a person could perfectly fit through the washing machine entrance. Uh, someone possibly is entering that underground room to supervise the condition of the creatures. 